Good evening and welcome to the Telescope Makers Workshop. My name is Francis O'Reilly and I'm going to be discussing today how to determine whether or not a telescope mirror substrate made of Pyrex is polished out. When you finish fine grinding, you'll come up with a surface that looks very much like the surface I'm holding in my hands. It's opaque. You can see that it's been ground. It's not at all polished. <clears throat> Were you to try to aluminize this substrate at this time, you'd end up with a very non-reflective substrate that just had all sorts of bumps in it, would not look very good, and would not adequately reflect the light from the uh, star or the planet that you're observing to the uh, secondary mirror and into the eyepiece. It would be pretty much uh, useless for observing. You can see that it's very much opaque, even in the bright light that I have. I have here another piece of glass, and you can see that it's transparent through both sides. This particular piece of glass and the prior one that I'd shown you are part of the uh, three flat optical flat project that I'm working on. Uh-oh, here comes a cat, not Fortunato. Fortunato's disappeared. This is Fortunato's either sister or cousin or niece or something, the floof. She's not as interested in telescopes as Fortunato was. In any event, getting back to it, the telescope uh, mirror, the glass, or the substrate rather, the pirate substrate, should be pretty much transparent. And if I hold the two pieces next to each other, you could see there's a definite contrast as to the unpolished or the polished glass. However, just appearing transparent to the eye is really not sufficient because you're not going to be able to see some very fine pits. So what I do is I purchased an American Optical uh, light on eBay. Now this is a two-sided surface and one side I finished polishing. The other side still has some pits. And what I look at when I'm looking at this surface is I'm pointing the light on it and I want to see at the brightest if the light passes all the way through the glass or if something is caught on the surface. With the opaque light, probably can't see, but the light, can, the light pretty much does not pass through the glass at all. With the transparent glass, I've been working on this on one side for about three hours and that's completely transparent. I've completely polished it out and in fact, when I had nothing better to do, I started figuring it. Uh, However, on the uh, other side, which is also to be a flat, uh, basically I can, in the center, the light passes all the way through, all the way out to about a half inch from the edge. And when I look at it at about a half inch from the edge, I can see that the light doesn't quite all pass through. Some of it gets caught on the surface. That is a clear sign that this glass is not yet polished. And while you could mask it off, I guess, I tend to accept the theory that you're best off not letting go of the piece of glass until it's fully polished out. So before I even start to figure, I want to make sure that I have all the pits gone. Could you imagine if you were figuring while you were polishing and you reached the perfect figure before you polished it out? Well, you might be tempted to stop and not go any further with your polishing at that point. I accept nothing less than perfection when I'm working on my uh, telescope mirrors and I would encourage the same. Likewise, when it does come time to figure, and we'll be discussing that down the road, uh, I, I urge you to accept nothing less than perfection. Don't take a turn down edge. It's relatively easy to fix. Get the perfect figure. Don't let go of the glass until it's completely ready. It's not all that hard, and when it comes time to use it, you won't regret it. That's all for this edition of the Telescope Makers Workshop. Thank you for watching. 
And if you have any questions, you can email me at F-O-R-E-I-L-L-Y at bestweb, B-E-S-T-W-E-B dot net. Thank you again. It's now uh, Wednesday, May 27th, 2009, at about a quarter till 10 in the evening, Eastern Time. I'm in Brewster, New York. Thank you.